King's Theater. Yes, the mm, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> my train to go get to this movie but um have a busy day <laughs> um so going to be going to see dune that's what i'm doing right now gonna go see dune part two it's very very excited um then after that i need to go dress shopping for the gala at my work on monday because i still don't have a dress and it's saturday so i have like an hour and a half in between I'm gonna just probably grab some coffee and go to some department stores, maybe like Nordstrom Rack, see if I can find anything. I'm really not picky right now. Um, after that, I'm going to go see a show tonight um, with Billy Porter. I don't wanna say the name because I know I'll butcher it. Something jam, but <laughs> I'm excited that it's at City Center. I'm seeing that tonight with a friend from work. So, very busy this Saturday. My week has been kind of the week from hell. I've been working so much, it's been ridiculous. Um, and yeah, it just keeps on going. But I slept in this morning, uh, and that was wonderful. <laughs> and then I did some chores, and now we're going out again. So yeah, I'll keep you updated. I just missed my train, so now I'm just waiting. I'm gonna get there. Not late, but probably like right on time, honestly. So I asked Jordan to get concessions. Very excited. What's the content today? I think I have my glasses. I was about to say, if I don't have my glasses, I'm gonna be really pissed off, but I do. I do have them. They're scratched. I need to go get new glasses. Honestly, we should do a trip to Target Optical. <laughs> All right, that's it. Fit check. Do you like my hat? That's my grandmother's. Yellow scarf, per usual. I'm wearing the same thing I wore last night when I went to go see some friends at the Brooklyn Comedy Collective, but it's okay because I'm not seeing any of them today. I only wore it for like five minutes last night because I came home from work and changed really quickly, so.
kind of intense. And you can see my dirty kitchen in the background. <laughs> I'm going to show you what I feed Betty Boop. Um, it's honestly probably more complicated than it should be, but I'll tell you why I do each of the things. Honestly, there's one thing that I don't even know why I do. I'm just like, okay, this seems cool. Um, and I want to spoil my cat, so let's get Betty. She's really hungry. She is ready to be fed. She gets fed three times a day. Oh, she gets fed three times a day, if we can. Um, just in between Jordan and I's schedules. Um, <laughs> She's so over me. She's like, feed me now. Uh, I feed her at 9 a.m., 3 p.m., 8 p.m., ideally. Sometimes it's like 8 a.m. Because honestly, as soon as you wake up, at least as soon as I wake up, she's ready. She's like on you. She's like, wake me up. So, look, I'm wearing my Mitski merch from the concert. <laughs> yes. But, um, yeah, let's, let's, let's feed Betty. <laughs> One of the first things I decided to change for Betty Boop was when I originally got her from the Boston Animal Rescue, uh, you know, I just fed her a little can of wet food here then, but mostly dry food. Um, and she would throw up all the time, like every single meal. I used to feed her only twice a day then, and she was guaranteed to throw up. Um, it wasn't really throwing up when I took her to the vet. They said it was called regurgitation because it would happen immediately after she ate. She would just eat too fast and then she would, you know, vomit it, which I'm sure this happens in dogs too. Um, but it's literally just because your animal's hyper and loves food and so they just eat really quickly and then vomit. So one of the first things that I decided to do to remedy that was to get her high bowls. This helps with her posture, so when she's eating, she's not crouching down into like a little dish, because then the food's naturally just gonna come right back up because she's in a hunched, crouched position. So these are like higher up. She is kind of like on her level when she's eating, like right there. And all she has to do is just eat and she doesn't have to hunch, and it just really immediately, honestly helps with her vomiting. <laughs> Um, this is a set I got off of Amazon for like 30 bucks. They're really cool ceramic, uh, a lovely green color that matches her eyes. So yeah, this is probably the first thing. I recommend in stepping up your cat's game. The deep one is for water and then this one, saucer is kind of for her food. So then Betty's three meals in a day. Um, I like to kind of give her like a gourmet dinner. So the first two meals, breakfast and lunch, are very similar. I don't really change anything. Um, and they're kind of like the basic, like the standard. And then for dinner, sometimes because I'm feeling nice, I like to give her a bunch of toppers and treats and just make it like fancier for her. So it's a little nicer. One thing I do prefer is wet food. Um, I use Fancy Feast. I specifically like the fish uh, because I've tried fish oil with her, like squirting that onto her food, and she does not like it. Like, she hates fish oil. I don't know what it is, but she won't eat it. But she needs a good fur coat, right? And you don't want her to have dandruff. She had that before. She would always scratch and just lots of hair everywhere. Not good. So you want to give her a lot of omega-3s. And that's why I primarily use uh, a fish blend. I use this, the tuna, and there's like a mixed seafood, and then there's like a salmon, and it comes in like a three pack. And then I also like to use the grilled, so it's not the pate, because the pate kind of freaks me out, like it's just mush, and I feel like half of it's cardboard. Um, in the grilled ones, at least like I can see like things of what I s suppose is meat, and then like a little gravy. So as soon as I open this, she will start meowing. So we'll just do that. Um, but that's kind of like what that looks like. I like to give Betty about uh, half a can of Fancy Feast per meal. So in total, she eats one and a half cans of Fancy Feast per day. Uh, that is about five ounces of food. I believe the recommended amount of food that a cat should have of normal weight is like six to eight ounces. So. Um, I'll show you what else and I think it, you know, covers the extra ounce, um, that she needs. I also use these, um, from Amazon. Jordan just ordered some more. 
uh, and they are great for just putting on the lid and putting in the fridge. Betty's always been like a skinnier cat. She's not been ever super big. She doesn't really keep on weight, um, but you do want to give her the appropriate amount of food, right? Um, so I recently started giving her some dry food in combination with her wet food to kind of help fill it out and not use all the fancy fees. I mean, if I made more money, sure, I'd just give her fancy fees all the time, but I don't. So I've been supplementing her with this uh, solid gold indoor cat blend chicken lentil and apple recipe. It's grain free, which was really the main thing for me because cats aren't really supposed to eat grains. So, and it's gluten free. So it's really good for gut health. And honestly, a sprinkle, just like, I don't even know, like a tablespoon's worth of dry food is what I like to give her. The last thing I like try to do for every single meal is gonna be um, turkey bone broth or a goat milk uh, kind of liquid to add to her food. Uh, I like to use the Honest Kitchen, both of these I alternate between the goat milk and the turkey broth. Um, and usually what I do is I just put a few tablespoons in here with some hot water shake it until it all dissolves, fill the rest up with cold water, put it in the fridge, and then it's kind of ready to go for um, until the next batch. So this is the goat milk right now, which believe me, it will smelly. This, when she eats her poops smell. Like when she, I can tell when she's on goat milk versus turkey broth. Um, the turkey broth is cool too. It almost has like seasoning in it. It's got like little uh, bits of green pretty cool. Um, the reason I do this is because Betty, I have found, does not drink a lot of water. It is not super natural for cats to not drink from like streams of water. Um, I've tried a cat fountain and she got icked out by that eventually too, uh, probably because I wasn't cleaning it enough. And honestly, it just attracted a lot of flies and mosquitoes during the summer when we would keep the windows open. Um, because it was just running water that was kind of just sitting there um, and I wasn't going to change it every day because that kind of defeats the purpose I feel so I just started giving her liquid in her food I mix that in with the wet food and the dry food and it kind of makes like a porridge consistency not too much but just enough to make sure she's hydrated in all of her meals um, cuz yeah if you ever had a cat that like just started drinking out of your cups like you'd leave a cup of water on the table and your cat would just start drinking it or like if you take a shower your cat starts drinking your shower water it's probably because your cat is thirsty and it does not like um a sitting source of water because the cats are like but like biologically trained whatever it is they are like told to not drink still water because it could be unsafe harmful you know, carry bacteria, which it usually does. So that's why she doesn't drink the still water. Um, I still give her the option of still water because, you know, you never know. Uh, and I like to give her the option if she does ever use it. But honestly, since I've been doing this, she rarely drinks her water unless like something crazy happens. Like she eats something spicy off the floor. Like she never drinks her water really. Um, but good to have. So yeah, that's kind of like the basic this is what it looks like. That's kind of like her basic food. <laughs> um, so do this for breakfast and lunch usually. But since it's the evening, she's so mad at me. <laughs> Here's some extra stuff I like to do. Um, plaque powder, I like to put a little scoop of that in there. Uh, cats, like the one, number one killers of cats is gum disease. Um, so Betty, you know, doesn't really brush her teeth but you know, eats a lot of stuff that gets stuck in there. So the plaque powder just kind of helps regulate that. It kind of helps naturally clean their teeth and kind of like uh, how they would eat grass or something. And it, this is nice, it comes with a little scoop in it, um, a little blue scoop, and you can just scoop out the allotted amount. Let me show you. And it's kind of just like green. I think it's like algae, but it's like, like that. And it just naturally cleans her teeth, you know? A little better than if she didn't have any dental treats or anything. So that's what I have to do there. This, 
honestly i saw recently in a tiktok that this isn't great this brand for cats uh it's delectable squeeze ups i know these are like sometimes treats um one thing that i do find that's fun with these is in the summertime i will put them in the freezer and i will give them to her kind of like as a cat popsicle it's a little gross because usually the flavors you know smell like chicken or fish um and it's just like literally like a puree like it's if i can show you that's what it looks like this is tuna so this shit is stinky um but yeah i am probably gonna look into a more natural version of this once i run out of this pack because i have been told that this one has like glutamate in it or something or like gluten that's not necessarily needed for cats but i give this to her because i feel like it's just a little way to fill her betty her, her betty her belly at night that's like a little more filling you know she is so over us all right last thing um i like to put toppers this is kind of another thing that helps with cleaning teeth uh it's just gonna be like a natural meat freeze dried of course uh and this just like I said, helps clean, eat, <laughs> helps clean her teeth, uh, gives her like necessary iron and like other vitamins and things like that. Um, yes, overall like health and wellness essential, it helps clean teeth and gums, um, strong muscles and energy. So uh, I like this brand, Vital Essentials. I believe they also make things for dogs. Um, and this is what I have right now. She loves the chicken hearts, obsessed. Honestly, they're a little big, so I tried her like special occasions, these ones. Um, the rabbit bites have kind of been what I've been going for recently. And she has also had the minnows of these. It's literally just like freeze dried minnows. She loves those. Probably get those again for her soon because um, she is kind of obsessed. But I usually put like three or four of those, like three to five of those just on top and yeah that's gonna be betty's whole dinner she's so excited this little squeezy tube and the rabbit bites and all the fancy stuff so let's feed her Good sit, Betty. Good sit.